good, I'm good. Hey, Looks like it's going pretty well out there for you. Yes, man. Just competing, making my young guys better, and um, competing with the older guys so we can be one big family. How different does it feel going through camp now, having one under your belt, having a season under your belt? What, you know, what's it like to be a veteran now out there? Yeah, that's that's crazy because <laughs> me and the younger, well, the freshman now, but the sophomore <laughs> now, the freshman last year, right. the group guys I came in with, we was talking about it the other day. He's like, man, camp flew by last year, you know, such and such. But now it's like harder. But it's not harder, it's just um, we know what to do now. We're just trying to stay consistent and um, compete, make um, the younger guys better and defense better. So it's the same thing, same routine. What, uh, what kind of advice are you giving guys like Mark Pope and Ezard as, as they're going through this for the first time? It's a process. So, you know, I tell them, I say, don't beat yourself up. Dugan's a great coach. He's going to get on you when he need to. I'm going to get on you. Cage is going to get on you. Like the older guys, we, we, I look out for them. I just tell them, you know, put the pride to the side. Um, yeah, you know, got your feelings played. Don't worry about messing up and just compete. What have you seen from them on the field? They can play football. Uh, they just learn to play ball right now, but when all them guys get the plays down, we'll be rolling. How, how fast are you? Uh, very fast. Um, better. <laughs> I say top five. Top five? That's it? Yeah, you know. You're top two, right? Ooh. Yeah, you know, I got confidence, but you know, I got to give credit to the two running backs, Homer and Lingard. They're they're very fast. They're Martin. powerful. What, but, you know, what what do you run the forty in, or the last time you were timed? What last was time that? I was timed was on the track. I ran a four three eight. And when was that? That was probably like two months ago. I was like light, kind of tight. So. So is it you or Jeff Thomas faster? Ooh. Which one? It depends on the distance. If we go on hundred, like sixty on back, I probably. I know I have Jeff for a fact with the scribe length, but he's quick, so his 40, he'll get out. So, it's a distance thing. How much do the two of you push each other in, in a good way? Oh, a uh, good way, bad way, we always push each other. <laughs> like, watch film, we we'll would be like, you supposed to make that play, or you supposed to make that play, or like, we'll crack jokes walking to dinner or whatever in class, we'll watch film together. You know, he'll teach me some tactics and I'll teach him some hand placement. Same like that, you know, we the same speedy guys and we just like small frame body, so we have to do a lot more, like be a little quicker and stuff. So we we practice on our own sometimes too. How's Malik looking? Do you see any differences this year? Yeah, um, the difference I see in Malik, he's uh, being a leader now. Like he's getting the offense together. He's very consistent so far. Um, it's day four, day five. Yeah, you know I'm tired, so I, I can't so. lose track. So, but he's 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 been a very great quarterback. He's um like a leader now. What have you seen from the freshman tight ends so far, Will and yeah. Ryan? That's that's what I'm most excited about. I like them guys. Um, Brevin, uh, he's like a big body guy, make the tough, contested 50-50 balls. That's what the NFL need. And them two guys, Will Mallory, he's a like, he's like a route runner, get them in the slot in the open space. But I like both of them guys. I'm, they're they're going to play this year, and they're they're definitely going to be ready this year. Thank you, Mike. No problem. Thank you, Mike.